two part question where do you think about the 19 cents per hundred supplemental school tax for Halifax County and why? Actually, it's a three part question. And if you support the tax, what would you spend it on? We'll start with Ms. Hardy. Thank you. Yes, I do support the supplemental tax for our children because I feel it's the right thing to do. Run up Rapid has it. Weldon has it. Why can't Halifax County School District school children have it? Um, a lot of the things that we want to do with these funds, we do. We can't even provide a supplemental tax for us for our teachers. You know, you say it takes the best teachers to be in the classrooms to work with our children. This will give us a better avenue to do that. This will give us a better avenue to have things for our children that they don't have. You know, a lot of people say, well, you got enough money to do what you have to do. Then that's your opinion as well. But when it comes to being equal and when it comes to being fair, if all the sales tax that we pay here, I read in the paper not too long ago, spend $20 to run a practice. Everybody's advocating support where you live. And I believe in that. But I also believe in being fair with the dollars. Um, okay. Also being fair with, uh, I also believe that we should be fair and giving our children a part of the pie. I don't see the big, you know, thing about it. It's just being fair and it's being equal. Our children deserve it and we're going to work hard to try to get past. Um, if we fail this time, we're coming back again. So they deserve it and we're going to work hard to try to get past. Thank you. I'm to the comments from Ms. Hardy. Um, I do believe in the sales taxes. Um, I have known that I have paid sales taxes all of my life. And um, the only thing that I was lacking in was knowledge. And I realized that after coming upon this knowledge, that since I believe in years about 1903, I'm right, not right, forgive me, that Runner Graphics has had the supplement tax. I have been shopping at Runner Graphics since I was a little girl and unable to even pay. But still, I had a little account. And with a little account, and I even worked in stores that I still did not know. I knew I was paying taxes, but I was naive to where this money was going. And now, since I know where the money is going, certainly. I believe that the money should be, and I don't know whether the word is fairly or equally. And I believe if I had to choose between the two words, I probably would choose fairly distributed. And I'm going to use this big word, and this big word is called discretion. Mm. The money would be used at the board's discretion. Because right now, monies are used, and they are earmarked tell the government what to do with their money. So if we have this money, we can use it for different reasons other than what has been earmarked for the purpose of this money. Thank you very much. I do uh, support the supplement tax. I do uh, support the supplement tax because it's failed. Ronald Rabbit and Wilton City School uh, received this tax and also I think the county children should receive because they've been behind the eight ball too long and what we, I think we need to do this uh, supplement tax is uh, for new curriculum, new uh, technology, new equipment for these schools and so we can give our children the best education we can. So uh, I do support the supplement taxes. I do agree with the supplemental tax. And the supplemental tax is just what it says it is. It is a supplement. This is part of your local, will become part of this local budget. Where there is no line item for monies that we already have. We already have a federal, state, and a local budget. This money will supplement the local. There should already be a strategic plan in place for this money before it was asked for because it should have been presented to the citizens as what this money would be used for. 
However, I do support the supplemental tax that it will be used for our boys and girls to enhance the quality of education that they deserve. Mm -hmm. Glenn Sons from Walden, support of the supplemental tax. It does just what she said. It supplements. You need to be aware that we've been very fortunate this year that we did not have very bad weather because all of our fueling and some of the uh, maintenance staff is paid out of local funds. Just want to bring one thing to your attention is that when the budgets are first submitted, you send in the amount and you narrow it down to all that you think that you can do. Once that gets there, for the local, they generally tell you they start out with maybe 3% and say we take that back and another 2%. The state always has what they call a reversion budget. They will take money back after they've already told you to submit that. I point that out to you because 19 cents on the 100 is in the middle. Weldon has and Rona Graphics, one is higher, one is lower. But that is what was said, that we asked for 19 cents on that. It will allow us to supplement our budget because we can't spend what we like, like if you would have the opportunity to do in the local money. I also want to bring your attention that we will receive the supplemental tax. It will allow us to be also a recipient of sales tax money. So actually, that's two parts. We ask that you support it, and I am certainly in support of the 19 cent sales tax. It will be used to assist in the classrooms for supplemental things, the technology you mentioned, but it also may give us an opportunity to have extra course offerings. Thank you very much. No, I, that's not, I, I'd like to point out what I said is, and I'll correct this so that you will hear it. We don't receive sales tax, and the reason is because we don't have a supplemental tax. Once we receive supplemental tax, we will also have an opportunity to share in the sales tax opportunity like Weldon and like